So next we have the first theorem, theorem 1. For any square matrix A with real number N rays, A plus A transpose is a symmetric matrix and A minus A transpose is a skew symmetric matrix. For any square matrix A, A plus A transpose is symmetric and A minus A transpose is skew symmetric. If we want to check, we'll just take A plus to prove a, prove a matrix is symmetric, what we have to do? Just take the transpose and show that it is the same as a. Okay. So, here our given matrix is A plus A transpose. Take the transpose of it. So, what will be the matrix? We have the property A plus B. The whole transpose is the same as A transpose plus B transpose. So, here A plus A dash the whole dash means A plus A transpose the whole transpose will be equal to A transpose plus Second term transpose that means A transpose the whole transpose that is equal to A transpose plus again we have the next property transpose of transpose of a matrix is the same as the matrix A transpose the whole transpose gives the value A. So what we got is the matrix when we took the transpose we got the same matrix that implies A plus A transpose is symmetric. Okay again if we need to prove the sim skew symmetricity of A minus A transpose. Again, take the transpose of A minus A transpose, the whole transpose. What we get? A transpose minus A transpose, the whole transpose. So, that again, apply the property A transpose, the whole transpose is A. So, we are getting A transpose minus A. If I take a negative outside, this minus A becomes positive A and this A transpose become minus A transpose. So, that, that means we are getting the negative of this matrix A. When taking the transpose of A minus A transpose, we are getting minus of A minus A transpose. That means, what was the property of skew symmetric matrix? If A is a skew symmetric matrix, A transpose was equal to minus A. Same we got here. We took the matrix A minus A transpose and here we got minus of A minus A transpose. That implies A minus A transpose is a skew symmetric matrix. Okay, so what is the theorem? If A is a square matrix with a real number n rays, real number n rays means n does n rays must be each and every ele element must be real numbers. Then A plus A transpose is symmetric and A minus A transpose is skew symmetric. We have another property, another theorem. A, any square matrix can be expressed as a sum of a symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix. Whichever be the square matrix, it can be expressed as sum of symmetric and a skew symmetric. For proving that, what we can do is take A. A can be written as A by 2 plus A by 2. Isn't it? Okay. And again, I am going to add A dash by 2. This is an extra term that I added. So, for to balance the equation, what should I do is... I should subtract a dash by 2. Okay. Again, what I am going to do is I am taking grouping a by 2 and a dash by 2. So, a by 2 plus a dash by 2 as a single group. And in the next grouping, I am taking a by 2 and a minus a dash by 2. So, a by 2 plus minus a dash by 2. Okay. So, this can be written as a plus a dash by 2 plus a minus a dash by 2. Isn't it? a plus a dash by 2. In the first theorem, we proved that a plus a dash is symmetric and a minus a dash is skew symmetric. So, we got here a plus a dash that is a symmetric matrix and this is a minus a transpose is skew symmetric matrix. So, what is the conclusion? Any matrix can be written as the sum of a symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix. Any square matrix can be written as the sum of a symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix. What will be the format of the symmetric matrix? A plus A dash by 2. And what about the format of skew symmetric matrix? A minus A dash by 2. This we will be applying in the upcoming questions.